everybody, it's Crystal back from Crafty Sides Wreath and more. This is an example of one of the swinging wreaths that you can swing and it'll turn around and around because it's on both sides. Now I'm going to show y'all how to make one of these. Are you ready? Okay, this is it. This is, All right. this is just one way now. You can do it other ways, but this is Dollar Tree, y'all. Splatter string for Dollar Tree. Just a dollar. Check it out. Now look at here. This is how we're going to make this. Okay, y'all, this is an example of how to make a wreath. Uh, this is not how I make mine unless you specifically ask for it, and these are cheaper. But uh, uh, out of the many ways you can make a wreath, my husband, American, he makes my templates out of wood and other materials. That's how I do my wreaths. But this is an example of how you can, and I can make these cheaper for, like, parties. Um, and you can make them at home. But I want to be able to do something so y'all can make it, too. But anyway, you take the mesh screen. And then the best I can tell you to do uh, is take like a circumference and just make little circles and even spaces apart and then make like three rows all the way around. And then you take the pipe cleaners and you cut them in half. You won't need the whole one. You cut them in half. And then wherever you've got it marked, you can take your piece of paper and put it under it. And wherever you've got your spaces marked. Like with for, a compass. Like with a compass. Yes, with the, the circles. And you want your, because you want your design to be even, evenly spaced in the same places. But then you just take these and you just push them through. Let me show you how, how easy, easy it is. You just take this and you start it through and go like that. And then this will be one side. And then when you flip it over, after you've tightened it up, you'll have these still in the same spot on the other side to know how to do the other side. To where you won't have to worry about it. It'll all be done. You use the same one for both sides. Now I'm going to uh, show you something. I'm doing the fire, the 4th of July one. I found this at the Dollar Tree. And these light up. Now you can put these on your wreath. And as they swing and hang up, you can also have it be lit up. You can have the stars to come up above you with a show, but have it weaved all the way around. And I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to take this. And you can do one on each side, but where this screen is see-through, I don't think that you'll need one on each side unless it's something that you just prefer. And what I did was, is I took one of the pipe cleaners on the other side, and I put it there. And I'm just going to slide this little box, and see it has a little on and off switch. Slide the little box right there, because your lapels are going to cover that up. But you want it to where you can turn it on and off. And then I'm just going to tighten that up in there. Now you can use Velcro. You can use glue to also uh, make it stick to it won't come off. But for now, I'm just going to put that on there. And then you can, you can take it off if you want to. But take this and weave this around. I'm going to weave it right around my uh, on the back side. When I get to the back side, I'm going to take and I'm going to weave this through the open places where it'll be easier. So, let me show you how to do the petals. I'm going to do red and blue and uh, red, white, and blue for my, for my colors. That's how I'm going to make it. Now, this is the same petals, y'all, that you use on the flowers, the sunflowers. That's how you do it. Now, I cut these with my uh, impulse sealer. So that it won't be as jagged. But as you can see, this has the metallic in it. The metallic won't cut on the impulse sealer. So you do have to cut that with scissors, and they will do that just a little bit. But the shine makes it worth it anyway. But you have a 10 by 10 square, and it don't have to be perfect. Because when you when you, when you you fold it and all this, you're not going to be able to tell it. But a 10 by 10 square is what you want. As you can see, I have a 10 by 10. These little mats are awesome, y'all, if you can get one. They have these at Walmart. Michaels, Hobby Lobby, you can use your 40-50% coupons, and you can cut on them, and they won't hurt your tables. These are awesome. Okay. You want your curve up, because you want your outside to be on underneath. You want your curve up as a natural curve, and you have it like this, like a diamond shape, and you want it corner to corner, just like that. And you try to match up the sides the best you can. Kind of press it down. What I do is I take this hand, and I hold this side, and then I go over here and I do this side. You see, you match it up the best you can you want it to come to point. And then you kind of crease it. And then where the point here is, in the middle of the diamond, you want to come straight down. In the middle of this, you just take your fingers, your thumb and finger, and you crunch. And you crunch, and you crunch, and you crunch, and you get to the other side. And that is your petals. And that's the same petals that I use on the sunflower shawl. Wow, that, that, that's neat, Crystal. And that's it. You just flip it over. Now... You, don't, you have to hold where it's creased right there. So what I do is I take a finger and hold it in the center. 
and I crease it like this in this hand. So I hold it like this. And then you go over here in pipe cleaners. You start from the outside. You put your middle in, and before you zip tie it, you make sure that you're, you know, they're about the same length out here because you don't want one to be shorter than the other. It'll, it'll stand out, especially on the outside. And then you pull your pipe cleaners through. You want to leave just about a finger. Make sure that the, the center is in there and it's not none of it sticking out on the outside because if you don't have the whole center in there, it's going to come undone. And then look, you have the two sides. You have that on, you get on the other side, pull it really tight and twist it two or three times. And then you have enough left to do the other side. And that will hold your petals on the other side. Okay, now you do the, all the outside ones first. I have eight, I think, let's take two on the outside ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight on the outside, eight in the next row, four and four. That's how I've got mine.